women artists in Mexico achieved a place of prominence in the 1930s and 40s and 50s. But on the other hand, it's important to understand that they were in the minority. Um, and that they were often working in media such as photography or very small scale painting, in the case of Maria Izquierdo doing very intimate watercolors, in the case of Frida Kahlo also painting on a very small scale. So the ways in which that suggests um, a sort of position of secondary importance in relation to the very um, prominent personalities of male artists in the, in the Mexican art world. Um, so I joked during my talk that there was room for two women artists in Mexico in the 1930s, and they were Maria Izquierdo and Frida Kahlo, and then the photographer, Dora Alvarez Bravo, and of course photography as a medium has a kind of secondary class status within the art world. Um, some women were able to secure a place um, and a significant voice. On the other hand, they were very much understood as sort of on the periphery of these great male personalities. Mexican art in the, in the aftermath of the Mexican Revolution is turning inward in a kind of rhetorical process of reaffirming what it means to be Mexican, to liberate uh, oneself from the sort of burden of the dominance of European culture, particularly um, following a period of very intense Frenchified culture at the turn of the century under Porfirio Diaz. I think there's legitimacy to thinking about Mexico as reinventing itself and the image of itself. On the other hand, a way to test that and measure that is by constantly being aware of what's happening in the international sphere, because nothing operates in a vacuum. So they sort of master those languages and then they bring them to bear on Mexican subjects.